humans are designed to be upright animals. Anybody who has quadriplegia or paraplegia, that is they lose use of their arms and legs, they can use Rex. It doesn't matter, they don't have to have a spinal cord injury from a trauma, it can be from an infection, it could be from a neurological condition. The mechanism to be able to stand, to walk, to be the right height, to have that social interaction, but also to exercise, because if you're in a wheelchair, it's very difficult to exercise effectively. Just to be able to stand up, which is, you know, things that everyone takes for granted, because you forget, even though I feel like I'm floating, you forget that you're in a suit and you can be doing your normal, you know, day-to-day -day things. There are two very different ways that you can use Rex. One is in a rehabilitation setting, but you can have personal Rex. You can have your own Rex and you can function perfectly well in a pretty normal environment at home. The mechanics of it, in essence, um, enable it to be stable as well as the software and the processes within it and it will also do all sorts of activities. So it will not only walk forwards and backwards, it will turn, it will shuffle, it will sit, it will stand. You can break down function as well, so you can stop at certain movements and work on certain parts, which becomes a really useful therapy tool. Being able to be upright in a Rex and have your hands free so you can use your arms and shoulders and do stuff normally is a huge benefit. You know, there's different activities you can do with like gym balls um, from like stuff with your arms and you can be lifting because even if you lean to one side that you know the machine isn't going to tip over so you've got like a um, safety guard and that. If you're not motivated you don't want to do stuff and then you're just going through a downward cycle whereas what I've noticed with Rex is people get in and then suddenly get a kind of new burst of life and want to keep going and keep going and doing a lot of activity which is what we want to see as physios. The effect of even just a short period of time of being upright, moving around, walking in the Rex lasts for anything up to four or five days afterwards. So in the long term, having the ability to come and have a Rex session once or twice a week might be enough for people then to have a very significant change in their quality of life in the long term. If I get out my wheelchair and I sit on a normal seat, I kind of lean to the left because I've got a curvature of the spine happening. Obviously when you're in that, you know, that keeps you up and straight and, and it's comfortable. Even though I can't feel it, I say it's comfortable. I suffer with spasms on a daily basis and so when I've used the machine, obviously for a couple of days after, they like ease off. Your bladder and bowels work very well when you're standing up, but they don't work when you're scrunched up in a wheelchair. So being able to stand and walk and move around allows you to have much better bladder and bowel function, which is a major issue for patients with spinal cord injury. It's a physiotherapy platform, it's a mobility platform, it's a social engineering platform, it's allowing people to get back into society, but it's also a technology platform. It has power, it has stability. There's an awful lot of technology that can be put onto Rex because it's a fantastic platform. So not just a clinical application, but a technological application as well. But when you have like the top neurologist or whichever consultant you have at hospital tell you that you're never going to walk again, then I would definitely, whichever worries you have in the back of your mind, to try it out. Because it's changed my life. I've kind of spent the last quarter of my life um, working towards being able to help people and now I've got a piece of technology which can make it an amazing experience for them. 